Subtraction is often taught by using the words takeaway. In this video, solutions for word problems involving both comparisons and takeaway will be illustrated. There are two common uses of subtraction in solving problems. One is comparison, comparing two amounts. If one person has 11 stamps and a second person has 7 stamps, how many more stamps does the first person have? We can match up the stamps and see that the first person has 4 more stamps. The second common use of subtraction is called takeaway. Part of an amount is removed. If a person has 11 stamps and uses 7, how many stamps are left? So 7 stamps are taken away and 4 are left. With a takeaway example, there is just one amount and some of this amount is removed. The math we have used in both examples is the same. 11 minus 7 equals 4. If a school science department has two containers of potassium iodide with one containing 7 tenths of a quart and the other containing 48 hundredths of a quart, what is the difference in these amounts? To determine 7 tenths minus 48 hundredths, we compare the shaded amounts. The 7 tenths square has 7 four columns. The 48 hundred says 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 columns, almost 5 full columns, so we need 2 more hundreds, and then 2 columns of 10 hundreds each. So the difference in the shaded amounts is 22 hundreds. Another way to show the difference in these two shaded amounts is to overlap transparencies. So we'll place the transparency for 48 hundredths on top of the 710 square, and we can see that the difference is 2 22 hundredths of a square. In the decimal squares materials, there's a transparent square for each decimal square. These are homemade transparent decimal squares. They can be easily made. The difference, 7 tenths minus 48 hundredths, can also be found by replacing the 7 tenths square by 70 hundredths. 70 hundredths minus 48 hundredths. And we subtract these whole numbers. Subtracting a few whole numbers for parts of decimal squares is good background for students to show the similar steps that will be used for subtracting decimals. Students can shade blank decimal squares to show subtraction of decimals. These differences might be solutions to word problems or decimals from the decimal squares playing cards. For example, 8 tenths 55 hundredths. So let's shade the squares 7, 8, 55 hundredths, 10, 50, 55, 8 tenths, minus 55 hundredths. And comparing the squares, we can see that we have eight full columns here. Well, here we have Five, so, so we need five more hundreds to fill out this column, and then two more full columns, so there's 10, 20, 25. So the difference in the shaded amounts is 25 hundreds. And we can shade the answer, 25 hundreds. We have been using comparisons to find the difference of two decimals by using two decimal squares. Now we're going to use one decimal square and take away to illustrate subtraction of two decimals. If the weight of tuna at a fish counter is 83 hundredths of a pound, what is the weight after 26 hundredths of a pound is cut off? So we want to shade the decimal square for 83 hundredths
83 hundredths. And to illustrate that 26 hundredths of a pound that is cut off will cross off 26 hundredths, 24, 25, 26 hundredths have been removed. And we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 7, 57 hundredths. So we'll subtract 26 hundredths, 57 hundredths. So 57 hundredths of a pound is the remaining weight. Let's look at one more example of takeaway. And we'll use the decimal squares playing cards. 25 hundredths, 60 hundredths. So we'll shade the square for 60 hundredths. 60 hundredths. We'll take away the second amount, 25 hundredths. So we want to take away, take away 25 hundredths. The amount we have left is 10, 20, 30, 35 hundredths. So 60 hundredths minus 25 hundredths equals 35 hundredths. Aiden was sick and his temperature increased 3.4 degrees. The back of a decimal square for tenths will represent one unit, one degree. So these squares represent three units and four tenths, the increase in degrees of agent's temperature. Overnight, Aiden's temperature dropped one and eight tenths degrees. How much above normal is his temperature now? So we need to compute 3.4 minus 1.8. We have a square for 4 tenths, but we need to remove 8 tenths. So we replace one of the unit squares by tenths, and this gives us 14 tenths. Now we can remove 8 tenths. We'll do that by covering up 8 tenths. And this leaves two and four six-tenths. Then we take away one unit square in order to subtract the one in 1.8. We're left with one unit and six-tenths. So three and four-tenths minus one and eight-tenths is equal to one and six-tenths. So after the drop in temperature during the night, Aiden's temperature is now 1.6 degrees above normal. Let's look at the algorithm for subtracting these decimals. With the squares, we first replaced one unit by 10 tenths. So in the algorithm, we regroup one unit, leaving two units, and in the tenths column we have 10 tenths, and we subtract 8 tenths from the 14 tenths. With the squares, we removed one unit square from the two unit squares, and in the algorithm, we subtract 1 from 2 to obtain 1.6 degrees. You have seen subtraction of decimals and mixed decimals illustrated with decimal squares. And this model has been related to the subtraction algorithm. Let's look at the game Rope Tug from decimalsquares.com. Select a difficulty level of 1. Select one player. The player will be female. We'll type the player's name, Alan. Alan has a point four. She clicks to replace it and got lucky. She has a point nine. So Alan is going to gain on the robot here.
The robot finally gets pulled in, and Ellen wins the game.